Here's hoping this map isn't as bad as the desert. Snowfield start. Are we going to need another artifact to survive uh, this, uh, another talisman to survive the cold? First desert's now this. Does it always have to be extremes? Brr, it is a little chilly, isn't it? I spoke to the guards of the city gates. They confirmed the girl matching Kilia's description came this way. Guess we have no choice then. Everyone be careful. Always winter quest. Wow, look at this place. Have you seen snow before, Celeste? Of course I've seen snow. Not like this, though. The Orient Tundra really is beautiful. We're not here to admire the scenery, you know. Don't you ever take a moment to relax? Fine, the snow is very pretty. Now let's go. Seriously? She just doesn't get it. Oh, this map looks pretty small, but why is it split? Oh, what is it? Do you remember the legend I told you about the ghostly woman who appears when it snows? The ghost story? Sure, I remember. Well, it's snowing. You're not suggesting we look for a ghost, are you? Of course I am. This could be a breakthrough. This is going to be in our quest. A breakthrough for my research. Is there a specific place this woman is supposed to show up? No, just in the snow. Great. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. Ugh. So, when, which way? Anyways, it says always winter. I can report it now for some golden experience. Hey, guess what? What? I visited a place where it's always winter. Really? Yeah, it's just to the north of Veritas. Tell me about it. Tell me, tell me. I barely explored it. Ugh, we don't have time for this. First of all, it's freezing there. Everything is covered in snow, and in some places it's so deep it would be over your head. Wow, really? I want to see snow like that. All the trees are covered in snow too. It makes them look completely white. That sounds so pretty. Yeah, it's really quite a sight, but it's dangerous. I want, I want to go. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. It's not a safe place for a little girl. Why not? Because vicious monsters live there that could eat a little girl like you as a snack. Ah, Milana. You know she tried to go there no matter what you said. Figured a good scare would take care of that. Please don't get eaten. Don't worry, we won't. Come on, Milana. What the heck is going on over there? There's a bunch of red flames. I'm kind of nervous. Those wolves look like they'd be really fast. There's flying enemies too. Golems. We got everything. What's this? Hey, there are tracks in the snow. We should pull them. Is this for some mercenary work you took on? No, I'm just curious about who else is out here, and what they're after. Cursed owl things. What are you doing? What? I saw you pick that up. You realize it's going to melt as soon as we're out of here, right? Well, oh, that's not a problem. I can use my magic to keep any snow or ice frozen. You can? That's amazing. Yep, so pick up as much as you want. Why are you, you encouraging this behavior? More stuff to take care of. A campfire? Why would someone be camping out here? I don't know. This is close to Veritas. You think they just go back there to rest? Hmm, ah. What's wrong? There's a message here. Looks like someone scratches in the wood to me. It's an old code used by certain mercenary groups. This is the symbol for valley and the symbol for rock pile. The final symbol means wooden planks. So we're looking for wooden planks near a rock pile somewhere in the valley north of here. It's worth checking out. Okay, let's see what the goods are. Experimental staff? What? Hmm, it's weaker, but it does have some mana regen. Elixir and healing potions. This way leads to the ancient tower, but it's kept locked. Since we have no official business there, I'm afraid we wouldn't get in. What if the ancient tower is their hideout? Just saying. Shh, 
Do you hear that? Hear what? Something moving just up ahead. I didn't hear anything. Wait, what? Why is there a cutscene? I was just killing normal monsters. It was probably a monster. Get ready. Nothing is attacking us. I don't see anything either. Are you sure it wasn't just the wind? What if it was her? You mean that ghost you're looking for? I highly doubt it was a ghost. It would explain why she disappeared. That's... Ah, over there. I saw something to the west. The west, you say? The heck? Why the trigger in this location of all places? So, they want me to head over near the tower area? I don't see the marker for it. What are you talking about? Well, there isn't anything here. Now, will you admit there isn't a ghost out here? I really saw something, though. Your eyes can play tricks on you, especially in all the snow. I suppose you're right. Yeah, one time Quinn and I were out hiking and we thought we saw... Huh? What's wrong? There's someone on top of that huge rock! Hey, you! Oh no, not you too! I don't see anyone. They're gone now, but I swear they were on uh, there a minute ago, watching us. But that's true, they must have climbed down the other side. Let's circle around and take a look. Good thing to kill all the enemies here first, or they would just get in the way of the quest. Huh. I don't see anyone. Was it really a ghost? Why would a ghost watch us from on top of a rock? It could be another member of the Shadowborn. How should I know? You're the ghost expert. I hardly call myself a ghost an expert. It doesn't make sense to me, though. After all, a ghost is an incorporeal spirit. Then what did I see? Maybe Valana is right and it was just a trick of the light. Yeah, I guess I got caught up in the excitement and imagined it. I don't know about, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, wait. Now you think we, re we really saw something? Look at the snow. It's been disturbed here like from an impact. Oh, so it's whoever I saw on top of the rock jumped down here. Exactly. But there are no footprints leading away. Are you saying it was a ghost after all? I suspect it's someone who covered her tracks so he wouldn't be able to follow them. If you're right, they jumped down from the rock and ran out of sight, taking the time to cover their trail all, and all the time all in the time it took us to circle around uh, back around. Is that even possible? Ruby, this is your area of expertise. Mine? Oh, you think it was one of the Shadowborn? If they're as as elusive as you claim, they'd be up to the task. So what we thought was a ghost was actually one of the Shadowborn spying on us. That's creepy. Amazing. Huh? Oh, that's so much better than a random spirit wandering around. When the Shadowborn was right there. You're happy about this? Of course, I'll need to go over every detail. Celeste, will you provide a statement about what you saw? I'll quote you in my paper. I, uh... Come on, you two can work out the details as we go. For now, we should get back on track. That was a quest we had to complete, and it didn't even end in a fight like I thought it would, huh? Scroll of Life. Come on. We can buy that at shops. A few materials. Ready for the next area. I don't see any wooden planks near rocks here. Uh, a cutscene? Oh no, am I going to be thrown right into a boss battle? No. Alright, Celeste, while we walk, tell me about your experience with the Shadowborn who is spying on us. You want me to tell you about it, but you're there with me. I want to hear it in your own words. Well, let's see. We were talking about illusions and mirages and stuff like that when I looked up and saw someone watching us from on top of the rock. What made you look up? Do you hear something? Did the Sixth Sense tell you we were being watched? Uh, I think it was just a whim, to be honest. So then it was an accident you noticed a Shadowborn at all? Yeah. What about the person you saw? What did they look like? It was too fast to get a good look. I caught a glimpse of a person, but I couldn't tell you anything specific. I see. Sorry, these probably aren't the sort of details you were hoping to hear. No, it's actually very interesting. Thanks, Celeste. You've been a big help. Really? Heh, <laughs> you're welcome. What? There's a... An event? But this is not even the end of the area. Another one? Basic elixir. I ran past it and opened it somehow. <laughs> These, this must be it. What are we looking for? More carvings? No, I think we need a dig. Isn't this exciting? I feel like we're about to uncover the ruins of an ancient civilization. Aren't those ruins usually pretty dangerous? We'd still be the first ones to... We're not digging up ruins, it's a box. That's not- that's pretty big. What's in it? I bet it's treasure. Let me see, it doesn't appear to be trapped in any way. It should open like this. Is it treasure? It's a bow. Huh? Why would someone bury a bow out in the middle of nowhere and leave a coded message about it? Maybe it's destiny. That bow is placed over for Valana to find it. Come on. Valana? I'll keep the bow, may as well. 
Maybe it came from a relative of hers? Aren't you still curious about it? No. Wait, is that another coded message carved in the, to the bottom of the box? No. It sure looks the same as the other one to me. Whatever it says, she must really not want to talk about it. Let's get going. We've wasted enough time here. How strong is this bow, anyways? Traveler's bow, it's a sh Hmm. Stronger in some ways, weaker in others, huh? The crit chance is appealing, though. Yes. Symbol of friendship. An affinity booster. Mana fruit. Something up ahead, and I don't think I'm gonna like it. Here you go. Ten handfuls of snow and I eight icicles carefully kept frozen through Ruby's magic to avoid bringing you back a puddle of water. Thank you. I can't wait to start studying these. Do you really think you can get a good paper out of this? On water? Yes, no one else has ever done it, so this discovery will be all mine. But what if the reason no one else has ever conducted a study like this is because there's nothing to learn from it? I won't know until I try. He has a point there, oddly enough. Good luck with whatever it is you're trying to do. Seriously, water, I... I don't know. It's a request here. Alright, let's see what's up with... This area up here. Why is there a boss area so soon? Makes no sense. Oh, what the heck? A giant dragon. Uh, I suppose you won't just let me through peacefully? I'm starting to think this is a dead end. No way anyone lives out here. That would make an ideal hideout, though. Everyone believes it's impossible to cross the Orion Tundra. With, this, with good reason. And here comes another inhabitant of the Orion Tundra to greet us. Be on your guard. What? Ah! I can't... Oh, fuck you. Ah. The ice sickles. Oh man. This boss spell is so chaotic. Oh man, I need to get some mana potions for everyone. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to explode on me too. Damn. Just goes literally everywhere. Ah. If 
it weren't for shield, I'd be dead by now. Half my party is already in crit hit points. Ah. Ow, he's almost dead. Uh, yes, yeah, someone got him. Or not. Yes, we got him. This is crazy. Let's keep moving. Perhaps we can at least see some trace of Kilia's passage. There's still uh, projectiles bouncing around. This thing is trying to kill us from beyond the grave. What? Oh, man. My team is, is in pretty sad shape. And there's an... Something at the intersection there. Two paths to choose from, too. Good thing we can teleport to, to uh, back to the save point whenever we leave town. Okay, this place is way too open. What's going on here? I see a huge dark barrier. Maybe that's where their hideout is? Yes. Maybe that dragon was tamed by them to keep intruders like us out. Hmm. Try to sneak past here and explore the rest of the area. Why don't I see any monsters? Just a few chests here and there. Scroll of Mana, I'll use that to upgrade stronger scrolls later. Hey, there's something down here. Run around like a ninja. A red zone. I don't think we should go this way. The monsters in the Orient Forest are pretty dangerous. We can handle it. Let's wait until we're sure that's necessary. Aw, oh, fine. Yeah, I may want to start putting scrolls on my weapons, too. Gold ring? It has no effects, but a merchant might be interested. I should hold on to it in case it's useful for a quest later. Scroll of infinite mana. Well, that's actually pretty good. Should've put that in the red chest, in my opinion. Those are very hard to make. Mana potions. Elixir, another potent elixir. Power ring, 39 gold, 2 copper ore. So, what is this big purple barrier all about? Huh? It's like an invisible wall. It's some sort of magic. Can you get past it? Let me see. No, this isn't like any magic I've encountered before. It's so powerful. Anyone want to bet that the Shadowborn are on the other side? Arg, how can we have come so close only to be stopped here? Hylia must have a way to get past this. We won't find answers by standing around the snow. Let's go back. So, return to Veritas. Now what? We need to learn how Kilia got past the barrier. It's not like we can ask her. Then who can we ask? Ahem. Do you have any idea? I think we should go to the Academy. Why? The barrier is magical. The Academy must have answers about that sort of magic. It's worth a try. Let's go. Oh, thank goodness you're back. What's wrong? An urgent message came through for your friend Celeste. A message for me? Yes, you can use that device over there. It must be the Knights. How? It's still active, so just walk up to it and speak into it. Okay. Hello, this is Celeste. This is Sir Zacharias. Uh-oh. I need you to return to your headquarters. Sir, I... That's an order, Celeste. No, not while I'm so close. If I, diso if I disobey, I really will be a traitor like Quinn said. You are to return immediately. That is all. Aw, oh, nuts. 
Is there going to be a diverging path where to go? Uh, where Celeste becomes a, uh, an obedient knight or a mercenary who does her own thing? What was that all about? I've been ordered to return to headquarters. Are you going to to? I don't have much of a choice. What? We don't have time for this. It's not like we know how to get past the barrier right now. Besides, I can't disobey a direct order. I'm still loyal. No matter what Quinn links. We'll go with you, Celeste. We will? We will. Really? Ugh, fine. Thanks, guys. Just hope I'm not in too much trouble. You are in a lot of trouble. Anyways, let's look for new quests and such. Hard at work again? That's right. I wish you luck in your endeavors. Thanks. Ruby, can I talk to you privately for a moment? Mm, of course. We'll just wait over here. What is it? Seems like you've become part of that girl's quest. Yes, I suppose I have. Are you sure that's a good idea? I know she helped you out, but I expected you to return to your research once you got back here. I'm learning so much more this way. You're a scholar at heart, not a warrior. Some things are worth a little danger. Besides, I like Celeste. I want to help her out. Still, I... Is something barring you? No, it's nothing. I just don't want you to get hurt. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you're right. What was that all about? She was worried that I'll get hurt by fighting alongside the two of you, that's all. We might end up in some pretty dangerous situations, it's true. I don't care, I want to go with you. Heh, <laughs> then don't worry, as long as the three of us work together, everything will be fine. Have you learned anything about that ancient document we gave you yet? No, not yet, these things take time. Heh, <laughs> sorry, I'll try not to be impatient. That's a lot of dialogue. Be careful out there, I hate for anything to happen to you. I'm still training hard, haven't burned anything yet. Are you here to study magic? Oh, I have no magical talent myself, but I'm here to learn as much as I can about magic and the academy itself. Sounds like a big task. I've, always, I've also heard the academy has a vast library. That's true, the archives are full of valuable information. Oh, I can't wait, I could spend days here. How are you going to study magic if you can't use magic yourself? I just want to understand the basic principles, you know. There are people out there who think magic is draining the world of its energy. What? But that's absurd, everyone knows magic comes from inside the mage. That's why we need a non-mage to study it and bring the troops to the people. So much knowledge, just waiting for me. Buy something or leave, I have work to do. All your stuff is outdated. Wait, there's new stuff, never mind. A special chainmail. I'll have to extract the old ones to put on the new ones, huh? Some of these I don't want to give up so easily, either. Mist Ring. More specialized gear. Cutlass. This one has no- very little magic attack, though, so it's not- I don't know if it's worth it. Golden Staff looks pretty good, actually. Gotta think about this later. Everything is under control here, but I hope that I get to take a break soon. The future lights of work with, like mine, mark my words. Good luck with whatever you're trying to do. Things have calmed down a bit now, but we're still on high alert. Remember, I'm here for all of your buying or selling needs. What a day. There seems to be new stuff going on in Ankora as well. Oh, so now you show up. Huh? Where were you when I needed you? I'm sorry, what's the problem? Forget, there's no point anymore. Okay then, I wonder what was that, what that was about. Did I miss a quest? No way, I came back to deliver stuff. Need something? Oh, um, I just wonder if you needed help with anything. Nope. Are you sure? Do I look like I'm helpless? Don't mind her, she's trying to stall. Come on, Celeste, you can't put this off forever. I know. Damn it, Grady, what the hell is going on? Did I miss a quest or not? Move along, some of us have fish to catch, which is more than I can say for Morgan. Are you okay? You look like you've had worse luck than me today, and that's saying something. I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I know that feeling. This isn't quite the same as not being able to catch fish. Hey, uh, no, never mind. What was that all about? They really missed something? Come on. Ti that, that timing for that one was way too tight. So any trouble at the end? Nope. Any of your guests need help? Not as far as I know. Got any jobs for Vilana? Are you trying to kill time? No, of course not. What would make you think that? Whatever it is, you should just get it over with. Right. So 
always good to see you here. Stay as long as you like. Hmm. Have you ever disobeyed orders? That came out of nowhere. Hmm, not about anything serious, but there have been minor incidents. Did you get in trouble? Only when I got caught, ha. <laughs> what happened? The first time I was ordered to take a particular shift of guard duty, but I didn't show up. They docked my pay. I'm just a square, so I don't have a pay to dock. Another time it was more serious. A group of monsters was causing trouble on the edge of Ornwood. You were ordered to pull back and wait for reinforcements. But you didn't? I was young and convinced I could protect Encora single-handedly. I charged in alone. Let me guess, it didn't go quite as planned. Not one bit. The rest of my unit had to go in after me to save my life. What happened after that? My superiors chewed me out and then I was put on duty cleaning the latrines for two weeks. Oh my. I doubt Sir Zacharias will put me on latrine duty, but who knows. I'm doing my part to keep Encora safe. You look like you've had a terrible day. Yeah, today isn't the best. You, you know what you need? What? A nice hot bowl of soup. Somehow I don't think I'll do it. <laughs> you young people are never satisfied. Please try not to fill my granddaughter's head with any nonsense about adventures. Hey there, where are you up to today? I'm playing knights. Wait, you mean you're pretending to be a knight? Uh-huh. You know I'm a square with the Ashen Order. Really? Tell me a story. Well, you must have a story. Please, please, tell me. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Yay, isn't there somewhere you need to be? This is more important. I'm inspiring the future generation of knights. Uh-huh. Let's see, I'll tell you about the time my friend Quinn and I climbed the mountain outside headquarters. Is he a knight? Well, uh, he is now, but back then we were both squires. Anyway, I talked him into climbing the mountain as a source as part of a special training program. Didn't he want to? No, he said I was crazy, but that's not the point. He finally agreed, so we went out together and started climbing. Why do I have a feeling the story ends in disaster? We climbed and climbed until finally we were halfway up the mountain, and then we realized it was getting dark. Were monsters going to come out and eat you? No, but we were tired and hungry. We hadn't brought any food. I knew it would end badly. We had to scavenge for berries up on those barren mountain slopes and then make our way back down the dark. Wow. Yeah, it looked tough for a while there, but in the end, it turned out to be a true adventure. That's so cool. Come on, that's not an adventure. When I grow up, I want to be a knight just like you. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'm sure you will be. We're doomed. I'm a brave knight. Take that, meanie goblins. She certainly has enough enthusiasm. Maybe the sequel will be about Lily. Hmm, so Claire really did have something. But she, no one here has any new items to sell. Just new quests. What's up, Celeste? I'm not used to you, you looking so unhappy. I've been ordered to report in at headquarters. Is that a bad thing? I was never supposed to leave in the first place. I snuck out on my own. Oh, so it's probably a bad thing. I know I have to go back and face Sir Zacharias, but I keep trying to put it off. It's better to get it over with. That's easy for you to say. Trust me, Celeste, delaying will only make things worse. I guess you're probably right. Do I get docked for uh, each NPC I talk to before returning to headquarters? If you need any enchanting help, you know where to find me. Hey, need any help with anything today? No, I don't think so. You sure? Yes, I'm fine. Well, that's good. I guess I should hurry up and report in, huh? You look busy. Oh, I'm just shopping. That's a lot of food. Is that all for you? Well, yes, I thought it'd be good to stock up in case there's a famine. Is there supposed to be? No, but you never know. She's turned pessimism into an art form. It's a wonderful day for shopping. At least things are finally getting back to normal around here. Are you sure about that? What do you know? What, do you know something? If you ask me, things are only getting more dangerous. Oh no, who knows what this will do to prices in the marketplace. Is that really the issue here? Hmm, someone in this town must know s about something worthwhile. So you sold that statue of Theodore, huh? What, how do you know? He's been bragging to anyone- Oh, shoot, did I not clear this dialogue yet? I figured it had- uh, Who found a treasure for him? I figured it had to be you. Great. I wish you'd sold to me, but I guess you have your reasons for working with him. Okay, thanks. Hey, got a minute? Yes. Celeste, are you just stalling for time? Of course not. We have to help our good friend Claire after all. She's done for us. Oh boy. What's the trouble, Claire? Next time you're in Rita's, I'd like you to do me a favor. When you have enough time, that is. Enough time for what? Do I have to talk to Victor? I want you to watch the equipment shop. Huh? Watch the shopkeeper's methods. Observe anything unusual he does to draw in customers. Keep track of everything and report back to me. I didn't know spying was a big part of merchant business. It's not spying. It's observing your competitor's techniques to learn and grow. Spying. This sounds like it might take a while, but if we have the time, I'll see what I can do. I knew I could count on you. Thanks. Have you had a chance to observe the shop in Veritas yet? No, not yet. Okay, no problem. Don't rush. Victor... Is Victor gonna turn out to be up to something illegal? Yeah. Hmm. 
Spy for Claire. Alright, Claire wants us to observe the shopkeeper's methods, so I guess it's time for some surveillance. Need something? No, we're just browsing right now. You realize this is pretty conspicuous, right? Maybe you two had better go. It's less obvious if I'm the only one hanging around. Okay, good luck. Situation 47E. Surveillance at the request of the civilian. As long as I keep a low profile and act as I'm supposed to be here and pay attention, I should be fine. Ah, oh, customer. Time to see what happens. Hey there, Victor. What can I get for you? Got any accessories? I've been looking for a pre-accessory for my collection. Maybe a necklace or a bracelet. Or a... Ooh, I like that one there. Just saw something she liked. No help for Claire from that one. Wait, here comes someone else. I'm looking for my, a sword. My old one isn't quite getting the job done these days. Here's my sword selection. Hmm. You can test some if you like. Thanks. This one should do nicely. Letting the customer try out gear before choosing. That might help. I'll wait a little longer. Maybe someone else will come. Hmm. Hello. Good to see you. You doing okay? Yes, everything's fine. Anyway, I checked around at the other shops, and they all need more stock. Right, I'll get a new set ready then. Here's the money they took in. Good work. I have an errand to run now, but I'll come by again later. He sent some of his stock to other shops to sell for him. Now that's a strategy I'm sure Clara will want to hear. I think I've learned about all I can. Time to get out of here before he gets suspicious. Oh, he really didn't say anything. He really didn't notice? Really? I almost thought he was going to call us out... Uh, uh, ...or something and make the mission fail. Alright, I spent some time watching the shop and read us. And? First, if a customer isn't sure what they want to buy, he lets them test it. Hmm, trying on a piece of armor, swing a sword. Yes, I see how that might help. Second, he sends some of his stock to other shops. Those shopkeepers sell it for him, then send him the money. Huh, why would they agree to that? They probably get a cut of the profits. I see, and the increased business makes it worthwhile. Do people really buy weapons and gear at other shops if they didn't intend to do so anyway? I was wondering about that too. Probably catches their attention and makes it more likely that they'll consider it. Thanks, Les. This has given me some great ideas, and here's a little something for you as thanks. Heading in the danger, make sure you're prepared by buying the best gear in Ankora. Wait, all your gear is old and outdated. Okay, the sa sales surveillance quest actually got me the Swan Song. Uh, once wielded by a legendary knight of the Ashen Order, that. Th how did Claire come across that? Was she dealing with the Ashen Knights at some point? Or maybe she killed that knight. Hmm. Alright, time to face the consequences of my actions. Are we really going to trek across the desert again for this? I don't see much of a choice. We need to take a boat to reach headquarters, and if we read this harbor close, that means we'll have to leave from Ankora. What's that? You're leaving already? Yes. Then you're in luck. The harbor is open again. It is? Yep. Apparently the knight fellow had the harbor closed on National Order business while he looked around. Once he left, it reopened. Knight, you mean Quinn? No idea, he didn't give his name. It must have been him. That sells it, we're going by ship. I'll find out how soon we can leave. I wonder why Quinn had that harbor shut down. Whatever he was investigating, he probably wanted to make sure no one left by ship. I still can't believe he reacted the way he did. We're in luck, a ship is hanging at the Ashen Order's headquarters now. If we hurry, we can go with them. Guess there's no point in delaying, let's go. The sky is so clear today, it's a perfect day for sailing. I wish I was out for here for a better reason. I'm going to be low deck to rest. See yourself. What about you, Celeste? Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll stay up here for a while longer. I don't think I could sleep right now. What's wrong? What if everyone sees me as a traitor like Quinn does? I'm sure they won't. I don't know. He's my best friend, so if even he sees it that way. From what, I, from what he said, Sir Zacharias didn't tell him you abandoned the Ashen Order. That was Quinn's interpretation, not the official stance. Oh yeah, he did say that. Sir Zacharias just called you a reckless vigilante. I guess that's better than being a traitor. It bothers you a lot that your friend said those things, doesn't it? Of course it does. How would you feel if one of your friends turned against you? I'd feel horrible. Quinn and I were friends for years. I can't stop thinking about the things he said. The Ashen Order means the world to me, and Quinn was my best friend. We had our differences, sure. We were always there for each other, ever since the day we first met. Flashback? Wait, well, workout, huh? I feel like I've been trampled by a team of horses. Tell me about it. Is every day going to be like this? Probably. That's why the Ashen Order is the best of the best. Because the trainees who don't make it through these exercises die of exhaustion? No, because we keep training until we can handle this without a problem. We'll become great knights like Sir Zacharias. How can you be so enthusiastic? I'm too tired to be excited. Joining the Ashen Order has been my dream ever since I was little. Wasn't it the same for you? Oh, um, not exactly. Huh? It wasn't? Then why'd you join? Do you always ask so many questions when you first meet someone? Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's alright. Anyway, my name's Quinn. 
I'm Celeste. Oh, and sorry about prying. I guess it was kind of rude. <laughs> it's fine. Good to meet you, Celeste. Are you going to eat dinner now? Yeah, you? Same. Do you want to sit together? Sure. Just give me another minute to rest first. Do you really think training will get easier? I'm sure of it. By the time we're nice, we'll look back on these lessons and laugh. Then let's keep practicing until we reach that day together. It's a deal. That day arrived, but I'm not a knight and we're not laughing together. Uh, Kilia made me fail my initiation. Will she take everything else from me too? Ugh, what is Sir Zacharias going to say when I get there? I'd like to feel like lead. So this is where you live, Celeste. I love the architecture. As a modern style, you can see the influence from the older structures that used to be here. It looks like an efficiently run headquarters. I approve. Um, thanks. Look who wandered in. It's a little wayward squire. Hello, Instructor Katrina. I see you've brought some other miscreants with you. Excuse me? She's Milana and this is Ruby. We've been working together, so they decided to come with me. Or rather, it was aside for me. Uh-huh. Well, you know how it goes. Only members of the Ashen Order are allowed in here. Now I have to kill these two so I can't reveal our secrets. What? Kidding. You should see the look on her face. I, um... Anyway, make sure yourselves at home. Or don't, actually, because you aren't allowed to stick around that long. Someone can probably find a place for you to spend the night. Maybe. We have no interest in staying the night. Even better, better. Anyways, Sir Zacharias is in the meeting right now, but he'll be ready for you in about an hour. An hour? What am I supposed to do in the Len? If you ask me, you should take a bath. What have you been doing out there? Fighting every monster in Dorencia? I can try. Ah. Besides, you should be glad to have a little time to prepare before you face your doom. Thank you, Instructor. What's of her? She's always like that. I guess she takes a little, little getting used to. That's one way to put it. So what she said about me needing a bath, uh... Probably a good idea. You want to make a good impression, after all. I guess I will, then. Oh, it feels like ages since, I've ha since I had a good bath. I'm sure they won't object to, you to using our bath as long as they're with me. Come on, it's this way. I can't wait. Wait, do you say bath singular as an only one? Hurry up, we only have one hour before I need uh, to be ready to go. Aw, oh, this is nice. Feels good to be relaxed for a change. The Academy's baths are heated by magic. Is that what you do here? Yep. Make sure to pass on my gratitude to the mages in charge. Will do. Hmm, the Ashen Order has good taste in soap. Uh, thanks. Volana, why are you all the way over there? Why shouldn't I be? Oh yeah, she's kind of funny about these things. She wouldn't go swimming with me. There's nothing wrong with liking privacy. Don't worry, Volana. It will close my eyes when you get out of the water. Thank you. Hey, how long have we been here? We better hurry. Phew, looks like I still have a few minutes before Sir Zacharias is done with his meeting. Oh, uh, we could have stayed longer. I suppose we aren't allowed to go with you when you report in. Right, you'll need to wait here. Before you go, can you show us around? Hmm, I have some time to spare, although I could go straight to the war room to wait for Sir Zacharias to finish. Okay, there's a quest. I can also go to- No, I can't. I guess not. So much for that. Celeste. Tabitha, I'm sorry I left without saying anything. I hope you aren't upset. No, I understand. I'm glad she's on my side. I missed you, but I know that whatever made you leave, you were trying to do the right thing. Thanks. I'm so happy you're back. And who are our friends? Uh, who are your friends? This is Ruby, and that's Milana. Good to meet you. I'm Tabitha. She's in charge of cooking for the reaction order. Ooh, I hope we get a chance to try some of your cooking before we have to leave. I'm sure you will. So you're the one Celeste learned about making soup from. Huh? Celeste made soup for me. Wow, Celeste, you're picking up all sorts of skills. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Milana helped, though. It was an experience. This is just like old times. It really is. It's really good to have you back. By the way, I had cake waiting for you after your initiation, but since you disappeared that night, I had to eat it myself so it wouldn't go stale. I'm really sorry. It's okay. The cake was delicious. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad. But now that you're back, what if I make a new cake so we can celebrate your return together? I'm up for that. I doubt we'll, st we'd st we'll still be here, Ruby. But maybe it's best that we wait a while until I'm, uh, settled. Okay, just let me know when. Quinn has been telling people you're a traitor, but I know that's not true. Thanks. Oh, it's you. I'm surprised you came back. I was ordered to return. You were ordered to continue training as a squire, but that didn't stop you from leaving. Well, what's your problem? Celeste was only doing what she thought was right. Little girl, you have no idea the trouble that can be caused by people who refuse to obey orders. Little girl, how do you know I'm not only a mage, but also one of the world's top scholars on unexplained phenomena, the Eklime and the Shadowborn? I don't care who you are. Do you say you're a scholar? That's right. I'm Malachi, the Ashen Order's pre a preeminent researcher of Aklime artifacts and related matters. Wait, you're THE Malachi of the Ashen Order? You've heard of me? Of course, your paper on how Aklime artifacts affect monsters was absolutely fascinating. You're, you read it? I mean, of course you read it. I'm glad to see you're well-versed in the field you claim to be part of. 
This is so exciting. I hope we'll have a chance to exchange notes later on. If I'm not too busy with my research, then of course. I can't wait. Celeste, introducing these two to each other might have been a huge mistake. It's been a long time since I've seen you here. I'm starting to think you were tired of the library. Noah, uh, did she never realize I went away on my own? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, more or less. But who are these two? I don't think I've seen them around before. These are my friends, Valana and Ruby. It's a pleasure to meet you. Feel free to make as much use of the library as you need. Time will tell if Sir Zacharias is right to have faith in you or not. No pressure, huh? Filling in the gaps in our history might be the key to understanding the Acclaim artifacts. You're back. Hey, I couldn't believe it when you disappeared. Sorry about that. Since you're back now, does that mean we're going to train together again? I guess so. It's like nothing has changed for her at all. I guess that's a relief compared to how Quinn acted. I can't wait until we can train together again. Welcome back, Celeste. I hope you realize you've missed a lot of training. Yeah, I know. Although it's not like I'd still be studying magic if I'd become a knight. Oh, but I see you've been traveling with a mage. Hmm? That's right, this is Ruby. She's a scholar who learned magic at the Academy in Veritas. Ruby, this is Instructor Lucia, who teaches magic here. It's good to meet you. Same, is the Academy doing well? Quite well. We have many promising mages. I'm glad to hear it. Our teaching methods aren't quite the same, but I've always respected the Academy's reputation. I feel the same way. In fact, I've been hoping to talk to a mage from the Ashen Order to compare techniques. Oh, this should be interesting. Um, I hate to interrupt, but I really need to meet with Sir Zacharias. Oh, sorry. We can continue this another time. Yes, perhaps I'll come back while Celeste is in our meeting. Quinn has far surpassed you in magical studies, Celeste. You need to practice more. Hmm, Issa has a quest for me. All refreshed and ready to face her fate? Yes. Glad I hear it. Want a piece of advice from someone who's been through for this more times than I can count? Yes. This is very important, so pay attention. Okay, whatever you do, yes, don't let Sir Zacharias see your teeth chattering. What? Knights can sense fear, you know, or is that dogs? My teeth are not chattering. You sure about that? I've got the nose of a bloodhound. That doesn't even make sense. Heh, <laughs> another victory for Instructor Katrina. See, now you're laughing, so you won't be nervous. Um, I don't think Celeste is laughing. It looks more like she's fuming with rage. Laughter, anger, whatever. It all works out the same in the end. Is she seriously trying to annoy me so much that I won't be nervous? Hey, Instructor? Oh good, you're not mad at me. I mean, unless you've come to challenge me to a duel, but I wouldn't recommend that right now. It's bad form. No, I just wanted to ask about something you said earlier. Yeah, what advice can this font of wisdom bestow upon you? What do you mean when you said you've been through this before? Oh, that. Huh. Hey, you might not believe this, but sometimes Sir Zacharias gets miffed with me. Can't imagine why. So that awkward moment when you have to walk into his office and explain why you replace the new trainee schedules with, with, with fake ones? Yeah, I've been there. That's not quite the same as... Hey, wait a minute, you mean that time Quinn and I were late for all our classes because our schedules listed the wrong times? That was your fault? Whoa, it was just a hypothetical example. That was oddly specific for a hypothetical example. The important thing here is that I'm fine. Sir Zacharias still speaks to me and I'm still the head instructor. That's true, it's encouraging to know she wasn't removed from her post or anything. But still, does she have to play a prank like that on us? You've got the makings of a fine knight. Just try to be content with being a fine squire for a little longer. Thanks. Assuming you don't end up becoming a mercenary full-time like Valana. It's been a while. I see a great song in this. You do? A dramatic ballad about a young squire who vanishes into the night, only to return when everyone thinks she's gone for good. Are you mu a musician? That's right. The Ashen Order employs me as a bard. Oh wow, will you write a song about me? I'd be delighted to write a such a about such a beautiful lady. Really? Be sure to include that I'm a mage and a scholar. My name's Ruby. Consider it done. Hopefully this means he's forgotten the disappearing squire drama. Why does an order of knights need a bard? Everyone can use a little entertainment from time to time, especially when you have a tough job. Oof, I never, I've never known a warrior who needed a bard. Hey now, some of the world's greatest warriors have had bards with them. I find that very hard to believe. Seems to me you need to broaden your horizons. Wow, if I'd have bet money on who Volano would get into a fight with here, I never would have guessed Jasper. I'm still working on your song, Ruby. I can't wait. Hello, Isa. I haven't seen you in a long time. Everyone said you disappeared. I thought you were gone for good. Well, I left without permission, that's all. What are you all these weapons for? Oh, this is our quartermaster, Isa. He issues weapons and equipment to the knights. I see. Isa, these are my friends, Wanda and Ruby. I have a lot of work to do, so I have a little time for pleasantries. Sorry. I like this man. What's your quest? Celeste, can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it? When you see Quinn, will you tell him the supplies you requisition are ready to go? You want me to tell him? 
It's not strictly in compliance with regulations, but I have some paperwork to finish up, and I know you two are friends. Um, if you can't do it, that's fine. I'll find the time to tell him myself. You see, the thing is, wait a minute, if I go to Quinn on official business, he'll be forced to listen to me. This might be the chance I've been waiting for. I'd be delighted to help. Where are you plotting, Celeste? I'll let Quinn know about his supplies right away. Where is Quinn? If you have official business with me, just file a requisition, a requisition form. Organized, efficient, and focused. I approve. I don't see Quinn anywhere. He's probably... Hmm. He's definitely not on the world map. Okay, time to face the consequences of my actions. For real this time. I'm here, sir. Good, I'm sure you know why I called you here. Just the two of us. I guess that's better than being judged by a group of knights. or dealing with Quinn again. You left headquarters without permission. Yes, sir. Yet you still consider yourself a member of the Ashen Order. You didn't run away to abandon your training. No, sir. Instead, you attempted to pursue the thief who stole the artifact from you in the Ornwood Forest. Yes, sir. I told you to stay here and continue your training. I expressly forbade you from joining the search efforts. Why did you disobey my orders? It was my fault she stole the artifact. Only because you prioritized protecting the civilian. You did what you thought was right. I know, but it was my mission and I failed. If I had done things differently, you wouldn't have had this problem. Do you see it as your responsibility to fix it? Yes, Acclaim artifacts are dangerous. The thief is dangerous, and hunting her down will be dangerous. Since it was my fault, I'm the one who should take th those risks. We're a team, Celeste. The Ashen Order supports its members. When one struggles, others help. You said I couldn't help at all, though. Setting out on my own was the only way I could take responsibility. I see, so that's what you had in mind. Please give me another chance, sir. I will. Thank you. Wait, before you get the wrong idea, I'm not authorizing you to continue your pursuit of that thief. But sir, I will give you another initiation, as I promised. In the meantime, you will return to your training. Since your heart was in the right place, you won't be penalized for leaving. He is c lenient in some ways and strict in others. Oh, it's like nothing has changed at all. He's basic. This is basically a warning, I guess. I'm glad I'm not in trouble, but being told to return to training and, waiting, and wait for my new initiation means he sees things exactly the same as he did before I left. Is something wrong? With all due respect, sir, I request permission to pursue Kylia and reclaim the artifact. Denied. Hear me out, the situation has changed. How so? I have information about the thief, as well as credible evidence of her current whereabouts and motivations. You're welcome to share information with the Ashen Order for properly prepared knights being sent after her. I... You wouldn't withhold knowledge solely for your own benefit, would you? No, sir. Good. But there's one more. I f also form an alliance with a mage and a mercenary who are also pursuing the thief. If they wish to offer their services to the knights I've assigned to the mission, the raid will be appreciated. However, it isn't typical for the Ashen Order to seek outside help. I know what you're trying to do, but there's nothing that makes you uniquely qualified to chase the thief. Do what you can to help, but stay here and return to your training. He really expects me to accept that. I bet Quinn does too. Are they right? Is it really better for me to stand down and let someone else take care of this? Sir. Sir Zacharias. What's wrong? An urgent report came in from Veritas. The mages of the Academy contacted, uh, contacted us directly. This must be serious. What's going on? An Acclaim artifact. What? An artifact of service near Veritas? According to the report, the monsters in the region have suddenly gone berserk. There was already increased activity, but now it's at levels consistent with the presence of an artifact. I'll send someone to handle it immediately. Sir, let me handle this. There's a chance that the people will be there. You think she'll attempt to go after this artifact as well? Yes. Even if she doesn't, another one of the Shadowborn might. I'm sorry, Celeste, but I'm not sending you on this mission. I understand your friends came with you. A meal will be provided for them as well. After that, they'll have to leave and I expect you to resume your training. Dismissed. I can't believe he wouldn't listen to anything I had to say. How did it go? I think it's obvious from the look on her face. Oh. Sir Zacharias refused to give me permission to continue searching for Kylia or to go after the latest uncovered artifact. Another artifact? Yeah, you see. Instructor? Instructor, what are you doing? Oh, just thought you might want to know that the harbor has been informed you don't have clearance to leave on any official business. No sneaking out the way you did last time. I'm not going to sneak out. Uh-huh. Don't you believe me? Heh, <laughs> whatever you say. At least she seems amused instead of angry. Sorry to break the bad news to you. Hang in there. You'll be a knight eventually. What will you do, Celeste? I don't know. If you intend to stay, we should be leaving. The next ship will probably be for the mission to read us. You could leave then, but we still have time to, have time to eat first. Dinner is, dinner is being provided for you two. Oh, right. Ah. Thought you might want to know that Quinn has been assigned to the Varias mission. Should be interesting, eh? So Quinn is the one Sir Zacharias has sent, assigned to the mission. Wait a minute. Oh, where are you going? Is this related to my quest? Sir, what is it now? I heard you assigned Quinn to go after the new artifact. That's correct. Who else is going with him? Quinn recently handled reconnaissance at the Varias region, and he's been briefed on your report that the thief might make an appearance. He's well equipped for the task. Sir, please don't send him on this mission alone. We're taking precautions to ensure he doesn't run into the same predicament you did. 
You don't understand. Those people after the aura packs, they're dangerous. We have the situation under control, Celeste. People who cross the Shadowborn have a tendency to disappear. What if kill it isn't Kilia out there this time? If Sir Zacharias won't listen to me, what am I going to do? There you are. What happened? He's sending Quinn out there alone. I tried to tell him about the Shadowborn, but... Hi, everyone. Oh, hi hey, Tabitha. Are you here to tell us when dinner is? You're not exactly on the order schedule right now, so I'll be cooking for you separately. Just let me know when you're ready. Thanks. So you were saying? I'll explain it over dinner. I, can, I can't let Quinn go out there alone. I better make sure I finish up anything I want to get done, just in case I get an opportunity to follow him. Broken Bonds. You look like you're taking this whole thing pretty calmly. Almost too calmly. Are you scheming something, Celeste? What? Well, of course not. Heh, <laughs> whatever you say. Sir, please reconsider. Please don't send Quinn after the artifact alone. Calm down, Celeste. But you don't understand how dangerous these people are. She's right. The Shadowborn are ruthless and highly skilled. We are the Ashen Order. We're prepared for situations like this. I have faith in Quinn's abilities. What is with you and sending in Knight Solo? Seriously. But what if the Shadowborn sends someone even more dangerous than Kilia? Yeah, I think Quinn might be able to solo Kilia if he spams potions, but if he, they send Kilia and, uh, the, and more assassins, that could be dangerous. Celeste, you need to learn to trust other people's judgment. But what if the other person is wrong? So there's Quinn. Do you and Quinn have a fight? What makes you say that? He keeps glaring at you. Besides, he's been sulking. Yes, we had a fight. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure you two will make up. You're best friends, after all. I want to believe you're right. What do you want? Quinn, about this mission you're being sent on. It has nothing to do with you. Listen to me. An organization is hunting for the artifacts. They're called the Shadowborn, and they're dangerous. She's right. You need to convince Sir Zacharias to send a team of knights with you. I don't need to do anything. Please, just listen to me. Why should I listen to someone who turned her back on the order? Because I don't want you to get hurt. Sir Zacharias thinks I'm capable of this mission. That's good enough for me, and it should be good enough for you. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is. Why won't anyone listen to me? Quinn, I'm busy. I'm not here to... Aren't there are things you need to do since you missed so much training? This is... I need to be leaving soon, so don't, I don't have time to waste. Isa asked... Excuse me. Hey, get back here! It's like listening to a couple of five-year-olds. This is ridiculous. There's no point in trying to talk to him. I guess I'll have to tell Isa I couldn't pass on his message. Isn't there anyone else you could ask? He probably won't listen to one of us, but he can't ignore everyone. Why does that matter if it's the core master or someone else who tells him? Isa will just hand over the supplies, but if the message comes from someone else and they explain, we might realize how silly he was acting. It might be best coming from someone who we train with, but then again, he definitely won't win to ignore an instructor. Good looking, Ruby. So talk to Katrina. Whoa, we get a lot of options. We have nothing to say to each other. I know Katrina is probably the right answer, but I want to see what these two have to say as well. Excuse me, instructor. Yes? Will you tell Quinn that the supplies he requisitioned are ready? I don't mind, but why can't you tell him yourself? He's right over there. I tried, but he wouldn't listen to me. I see. Very well. Quinn, Celeste sent word that the supplies he requisitioned are ready. Celeste did? It seems she was unable to pass the message on because you wouldn't listen. I didn't realize that was what she wanted. You should always make sure you have enough information to respond properly in any situation. Yes, Instructor. That's what you get for ignoring me. I bet he feels differently about things now. Or does he? But what if I ask someone else? I need to consider the possibilities. Emma, will you do me a favor? Sure, what? Tell Quinn that the supplies you requisition from Issa are ready. Oh, huh? why can't you tell him? He's ignoring me. Seriously? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Hey, Quinn. Yes? Issa says your supplies are ready. Thank you. I'll go see him immediately. Except he didn't tell me. He told Celeste, and she told me because he wouldn't listen to her. I know we were all unhappy when she disappeared, but can you two just make up? Excuse me. I see she couldn't help but give her opinion on the matter. I should try talking to him again once he gets back. I think the... Results seem to be the same, no matter what, huh? But I have a feeling Katrina's is going to be the funniest one. Instructor, I was wondering if you would help me with something. Depends, what is it? Issa asked me to tell Quinn the supplies of requisition are ready. And I let me guess, our boy is being all huffy and won't give you the time of day. Something like that. I was hoping you could pass along the message for me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Does it really require this much thought? I'll do it, for a price. Pass. Wait, what's our price? I get to listen in the next time you two have a shouting match. Uh, sure, I guess. What kind of fee is that? She probably she she'd probably eavesdrop if she wanted to anyway. Deal. Okay, Quinn is at. Hey, Quinn, Quinn. Oh, Quinn, where are you? Quinn. 
I see she has her own way of handling this. What's all the shouting about? Oh, there you are. Important message for you. Your supplies are ready. Thank you. Er, but why did Issa ask you to tell me? Oh, he didn't ask me. He asked someone else. Someone, she, seems she couldn't get, you know, get a word in when she tried to tell you, though. Ha! Huh. You mean Celeste? Got it for, on your first try. Someone bring this boy a prize. Don't look so glum. We all make stupid mistakes sometimes. I did not make a... She might even forgive you. I don't care. Oh, you think you've got the whole world figured out, don't you? Excuse me, instructor. I should get go get those supplies. Yeah, because I didn't know she was going to say all that. I suppose I should try to talk to them again, although instructor Katrina might be listening in. Hmm. What's the... So what's the reward? Elixir and Rosemary. So, do you get your supplies from Lisa? Yes. Good. That's what I was trying to talk to you about before, you know? I understand that. You wouldn't even hear me out. If you're finished, I have a mission to prepare for. What, we're back to this already? I made a mistake earlier. That has nothing to do with this conversation. You really do think you have everything figured out, don't you? Certainly not. There's a lot, still a lot I don't know, and the same goes for you. Don't pretend you know everything. Quinn, do you mind? Yes, I do mind. You accuse me of being a traitor, you won't talk to me, and even though I was here with an official message for you, but you aren't now. That has nothing to do with this. Will you at least listen to my side of the story? Never! I see no reason to. You're just afraid you'll have to admit you're wrong. Maybe I'll, I'd rather not hear more details about someone abandoning the Ashen Order. Obviously I haven't abandoned it, since I'm staying right here. No, but I bet you'll disobey orders again. It's only a matter of time. If you just listen to me, I wouldn't have to... You wouldn't have to what? You wouldn't have to disobey orders? Quinn, please. I have nothing more to say to you. Or you, you. This is pointless. Oh well, at least I helped out Issa. We have nothing to say to each other. That's literally everything I can do. Except Katrina. Pain full, Celeste. You heard her argument, huh? I wouldn't have missed that for the world. At least someone got amusement out of it. Okay, save. We're ready for dinner now. It's possible the party will be split up at this point, and we're gonna get a time skip where Celeste somehow has an eye patch. Go and get salad. I'll bring the food to you as soon as it's ready. Thanks. This is delicious. Hmm, not quite what I expected from a military organization. Tabitha always puts her whole heart into her cooking. She says people who have a good meal are inspired to do twice as good a job. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> Russians get the job done just as well. I don't see you refusing your portion. I never said I'd turn down a good meal. This is surreal. It's like, this is like one of those dreams from, about an event from your past, but the wrong people are there. It could be a regular meal I share with my fellow trainees, but now Ruby and Volano are here instead of Quinn and the others. So you were saying something about an artifact near Veritas. Right, here's the thing. And now Quinn is being sent out there alone, and I couldn't get Sir Zacharias to understand how dangerous it might be. Do you think Kilia will go there? If not her, then one of the other Shadowborn. Are you worried about Quinn? From what you say about the Shadowborn, they're a force to be reckoned with. No matter what he said about me, I can't let my best friend walk into danger. What are you going to do? I don't know, Sir Zacharias won't listen, and I doubt Quinn will either. Thinking out won't be easy this time, though. How stealthy are you? Huh? I have an idea. What are you gonna do, chuck her in a box? Wow, it's so nice to carry my luggage aboard a ship like this. I knew it! A box. Just, I, I was expecting her to walk around the cardboard box like snake or something. You're so overacting, eh? Act normal. Act like you always carry heavy boxes onto a ship. Shh, don't say it's heavy. Why not? It's rude. Heh, <laughs> my heavy box isn't going to do anything about it. It's just a box. Why do you pick now to de de develop a sense of humor? I don't know what you're talking about. Now help me with this heavy box. Oh, Volana. Hey, you two, what's in the box? I don't remember seeing that when you got here. Uh, um, I'm a mercenary. I purchased some equipment while I was at the Ashen Order's headquarters. Uh, understandable. The Ashen Order's equipment is the best in the world. What are we talking about? We, you never give me any good stuff. I have no doubt of that. Whew. Let's set it down over here. I can't believe you're so calm. You should work on hiding your emotions better. I can read you like a book. I can't read you at all. It's an art. Wait, don't you think it's a little... Hmm? Yeah! What did, I, what did I do? What are you doing here? Did he figure out the box trick? I'm on my way to Rita's for an important mission. Is there a problem? No, nothing at all. Everything's fine. Don't mind her. What's gotten her all worked up? She thinks you're cute. What? I'm flattered, but I have an important, I have important business to attend to. I didn't. She just... She understands. Good. Ooh, as if I'd want anything to do with you after what you said to Celeste. How dare you call her a traitor? She was only trying to do the right thing for everyone, and you turned against her. That really hurt her, you know? Excuse me. 
What a jerk. Is Celeste really doing this for his sake? Hmm. What? I think he's hurt too. How can you tell? Just a feeling I have. If you say so. Well, we might as well sit down. By morning, we'll be in Veritas. Time to bust open this crate. Whew. Ah, oh, ouch. I'm stiff from being curled up for so long. Ah. How do you feel? I'm never traveling by crate again as long as I live. Let's hope you never have to. What if you had to poop? Oof, it worked, didn't it? Ow, what was that for? That was for all those comments about being such a heavy crate. Oof, fine, fine. Come on, let's find out where the artifact is. Hmm? Is it just me or do things seem a lot busier around here? Yes, this is unusual. Everyone looks worried. You're back. If you came to help, you're just in time. Is the city alright? We heard an acclaimed artifact has been found nearby. So far, everyone here is safe because of the city's walls. Monsters keep attacking from outside, though. Even the guards retreat within the walls. It's that battle, Ray. Right? Yes, the monsters have been stirred into a frenzy. It must be an artifact, just like the report said. Do you know where the artifact is? Hmm, the monsters came from Elshire, so that's my, that'd be my guess. That lines up with the earlier reports, too. Since the three of you can fight, it would be a big help if you could thin out the monsters and take some of the pressure off the guards. Ugh. Finding the artifact is more important. Dang it. These moral choices. We'll do what we can. Thank you. Hmm. Don't tell me you disagree. Seems to me this is a, ne a necessary delay, but I suppose earning some goodwill with the people won't hurt. They might even pay us. Of course you'd say that. There's still stuff to... Oh, man. Same items. I really hope I didn't make the wrong choice here. I'm, I'm so scared I, I'm going to get some super bad ending. Like, the whole world blows up because I prioritize protecting civilians over protecting the artifacts. Thank you, goodness you're here. We heard monsters are attacking. Yes, I'm not even sure if it's safe to be outside right now. Veritas' walls are strong. You should be fine if you don't leave the city. I hope you're right. Don't worry, we're on our way out there now to take care of this. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. What is it? Some fan mail arrived for you. Fan mail? Yes, in response to your performance in the Citizen the Curse of Count Trevecki. You can't be serious. People actually sent letter us letters. Are you sure it isn't hate mail? Why are, there two of Why are the two of you so negative? I think we deserve fan mail after the delightful play. I received free letters for you. Ruby, here you go. Oh wow, my very first fan letters. Admittedly, I thought I'd get fan mail in response to my academic work, but it's still exciting. So let's share five letters for you. Five? These better not be from people who think I'm a pretty boy. And finally, Valana. Why are you holding so many letters? These are the 20 that came for you. Plenty of people sent letters to me. Yes, you were quite popular. I'll never understand the other people. Uh, other people. These letters are all pretty flattering. Mine are too, if a bit confused. Why do all 20 of these fans think I'm mysterious and alluring? That's This is ridiculous. If any more come in, I'll be sure to let you know. Please don't. Don't listen to her, we'd be delighted. Did people really enjoy that play? I've never seen it like this before. Everyone running around. It's chaos. From what we heard, monsters have been attacking the city. That's right. It's kind of exciting, to be honest. Exciting? How many times do you get a chance to see something like this? I wish I could go up on the walls and see the monsters for myself. Uh, don't give me that look. I know it's too dangerous. She sounds awfully disappointed. It's also a pain. No one's going to come shopping with these monsters around. Don't worry, we're going to handle the situation. Wait, does that mean you're going to Elshire? The monsters are from Elshire, so it seems like they must come from there. That's right. Well then, this is fantastic. It is? There was was a bad storm recently that caused some trouble in Elshire. The Academy sent some mages in, and do you know what they said? What? While they were looking around, they saw something glaring in the light. Besides the, crystal, besides the crystals? Yes, this was something. Silvery and shimmery. It was so pretty. It sounds so pretty. I can almost picture it on my shelf already. Let me guess, you want us to look for it. Don't rush on my account, but if you should happen to see it, you'll get a fine price from me. Another treasure hunt, really? So where is this glaring object supposed to be? Elshire. I know that, but didn't the mage say anything more specific? It never occurred to me to ask. Of course it didn't. We could ask around at the academy to see if anyone knows. Go for it, I'll be weighing. Have you found the shimmery silvery object yet? Not yet. Aw. Be cautious if you go outside the walls right now. I understand there's been trouble from monsters. Correct. Don't worry, we can take care of ourselves. We might even be able to help out. Understood. Take care out there. Still a tense situation, but we'll keep the city safe. This is crazy. What's going on out there? Don't worry. We're going to take care of the situation. Who are you people? I'm with the Ashen Order. Oh, oh, then maybe you really can help. 
I see he doesn't mind me so much now. Even the small ones are enough for decent healing, huh? Mm. Here for some enchanting? You seem awfully calm considering the situation. What do you mean? Well, with the city under attack by monsters, most people seem to be more upset about it. Attack monsters? What? You didn't know? Oh no, what if they come here? Are we going to be okay? I better do something. Hang on, you're perfectly safe. The walls are holding. Ah! Nice going, Celeste. How was I supposed to know you hadn't heard about the monsters? Everything is under control, but I hope I get to take a break soon. Hey there, don't trip over stuff on the floor. Thanks. Are all these devices used for enchanting? Okay. Experimental equipment brought over by a city guard. Weapons? Some are weapons, some are for transportation. If I can get them running, they'll use them to defend the city. That sounds useful and dangerous. If you need a new weapon, this is the time to get one. Yes, I understand there have been monster attacks. Hasn't reached the city itself yet, but it pays to be cautious. Agreed. We're heading out there soon, so we should be able to take care of the situation. Hmm. What's that look for? Maybe you lot can take care of yourselves. Just make sure you're prepared. Buy something or leave. Hmm. I don't really have anything I need to get here. By the way, we've heard rumors that some of the mages who went to Elshire after the storm saw something glittering. It was probably one of the crystals. Supposedly th this was something else. Possibly treasure. Buried treasure in Elshire uncovered by a storm? That sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? Well, I don't put a lot of stock in rumors like that, although I know some of the students do. Thanks, an thanks anyways, Yvonne. Don't get so distracted by dreams of treasure that you forget about your research. Heh, <laughs> never. Heard a lot of noise from outside. Is, there something I sh is this something I should be concerned about? The monsters from Elshire are stirred up and attacking the city walls, but you should be safe in here. Oh good. We're going to take care of the situation, since an Akblime artifact is responsible. An Akblime artifact, you say? Now there's something I'd really like to study. Hey, what's going on outside? I've heard people shouting. Monsters have been attacking the city walls. What? No way! They came from Elshire, according to the reports. You should be safe here at the academy, though. Who cares about that? I ought to do something to help. Yeah, I'll get go up in the walls and fight those monsters. Why am I afraid she'd set fire to the Rita's guards by mistake? Just stay here to protect the academy, just in case the monsters do breach the walls. Huh, but what are the chances of that? Small, but will you really want to leave the academy unprotected? No, I can't do that. You're right. I'll stay here to protect the younger mages. I'm sure that they'll appreciate it. And so will everyone else. Good thinking, Valana. Hey, Sonya, have you heard any rumors about a glittering object spot in Elshire? Oh, you mean what the mages who went in after the storm were talking about? Yes, that's right. Every day we're in an amethyst grove, and when the mages started to search the west... I searched to the west when he spotted something sparkling. We didn't go to see what it was. Right as he was about to, someone up ahead shouted that they found the fallen crystal they were uh, there to clear away. So we focused on the task at hand instead. Good. Wouldn't it be exciting if it really was some sort of treasure? Or an ancient relic of the past? We all have, we have enough of those to worry about already. Thanks so much, Sonya. No problem. Wow, we can't even go anywhere else. Not even the snow area. There really are a lot of monsters out here. They look even more worked up than the monsters in Ornwood were. I don't see Quinn. He must have gone to Elshire already. I don't think we'll have a, the same luxury. Here they come. Holy moly. That's a lot of goblins. They're super goblins. They're yellow. Come on, you guys. Oh no! It's even more! It's a wave battle!
Damn, they're just never gonna stop, huh? Another gauntlet type fight. Oh no, it's these lizard dudes. I don't like them. Oh, nuts. Ah. Uh, whoa. Yeah, just calling in the nukes whenever they- What the rhinoceros is? What? No, that's not a rhinoceros. That's a boss I fought in the very beginning of the game. Ah. Even with the shield, they are dealing good damage, aren't they? What the? They can rush attack me. These are smaller versions of that boss. Ugh. Ah. Anyone else? Oh, there's still more. Oh, damn. And again, with these guys. They didn't stagger even from the final blow of that attack. Another one down. Ah. Who else wants some? Is it over? I think so. That should take care of some pressure off the city for a while. Now as long as we can find the artifact, we should be able to stem this before it gets any worse. I don't want to see Rias having funerals for its guards the way Ankara was. And what are we waiting for? To Elshire. There's no more monsters? We actually got them all? Damn, these guys were pretty tough, honestly. Yeah, I already grabbed all the treasure here. Let's just save and... I can actually return the world map and desert. Wait, I can go back to any area now, now that I've beaten the small planes. Huh. Okay, there's actually new conversations at Akora. What's gotten into you? You look more panicky than a hooked fish. It's my friend, he's in danger. And what are you doing standing all the, all the way, like, millions of miles away from your quest? I just need to prepare. Less talking, more doing. And why will you prepare in the starter town? They never have anything good to sell here. He's right, I won't be helping Quinn by doing this. Hey, do the Encora guards have any jurisdiction on the other side of the mountains? What? No, that's too far from Encora for us. So you wouldn't be able to send some people to, into Elshire? Definitely not. Aw, oh, too bad. Thanks anyway. You look really worried about something. Oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. One of my friends is in danger, that's all. You'll save him. You're, you're a great hero who can save anyone. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I hope you're right. Honestly, I feel like a, being a mercenary would be a better fit for Celeste. Hmm, where's the smiling upbeat Celeste I'm used to seeing? She disappears when her best friend is in danger. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything we can do? I doubt it. We can't really tell you the specific details of the danger either. Right, we don't want to talk openly about the Shadowborn. Well, from what I've seen, you're a capable warrior and the three of you make a fine team. You'll save your friend. Do you really think so? You saved me, after all. But that monster in the forest isn't nearly on the same level as the Shadowborn. Keep your chin up, dear. Things might look glooming now, but you can get through this as long as you keep pressing forward. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Seriously, I can't believe they reuse the, the, the design for 
that random monster. It was just a smaller version of that boss. In fact, it might be the boss's children that we killed. Elshire is to the south? It must be connected to the small plains. Yes, that's the other path that I saw before. Hey, it's happy music again. What the heck? Weird. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Eternal Radiance. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.